The championship has over 140 entries from Kenya, USA, India, Nepal, Cameroon, Rwanda, Great Britain, France, Tanzania, Congo, Germany, Ireland, and hosts Uganda. The matches will be played in a knockout format from the preliminary rounds to finals for both men and women. In the order of play, we've got the women's uh, singles, we've got the men's singles, we've got the men's doubles and women's doubles and also the mixed doubles. For the format, it's a normal uh, three set, um, third set tie break. Um, that's, that's what we are playing. The men's singles will take 2.5 million Uganda shillings and the women's winner will take um, 2 million Uganda shillings. Doubles will be 600,000 for the winners and then for the ladies will also take um, 600,000. The main event is at the Lugogo uh, Tennis Complex. The Uganda Tennis Association, together with the National Council of Sports, are delighted to have this tournament return and promise to keep it running annually for the foreseeable future. So, we are bringing, reviving this tournament uh, again and going forward, we will ensure that we hold it annually. We pledge that in the coming years, we are going to grow this tournament to even bigger numbers. Magnitude of this Open and the importance of this Open is not a small thing. And the Open is going to contribute heavily towards foreign exchange earning. We do believe that we are going to have double blessing, hosting the tournament, but at the same time, we are going to be earning from it. This one should be the start of the revival, but going forward, it must be on the annual calendar, on upcoming years. And it will be strongly supported, logistically, financially, and morally. The tournament was last held in 2013 due to leadership issues, and this return edition is expected to feature top-seeded players from the East African region like Ismail Changawa, Cynthia Cheruto, Frank Tayewa, among others. The tournament will run from the 4th of December to the 10th of December, 2023, at the Lugogo Tennis Courts. Grace Joyce Kemgisa, UBC News.